Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I'm here today with a little unbagging. We've got five, one, two, three, four, five diamond paintings. Um, it comes to us today from Easy Craft Art, so I want to say thank you to them for sending these my way to share with you, and let's get to it. I know some of you had um, told me that you liked it when I had these um, unpackaged first and already out of the package. And I heard ya, and I will be doing that hopefully in the future, but today I didn't do that. I'm a little short on time today, so I like to be surprised with you guys anyways. We'll see. We'll see if that comes to fruition or not. All right. Uh, the first one that I have is a full drill round diamond painting. Looks like we've got a 30 by 40, and it is pretty simple, but I thought it was so beautiful. Isn't that just cool? The trees growing out in the shape of the heart with the sky in the background. I just thought it was just very um, peaceful and serene and beautiful. I like it a lot. It has 23 colors and it has it is sufficiently sticky. It's, you know, average stickiness. So that's good. All of our uh, legend is going to be letters and numbers. And it looks like we're going to have just a whole bunch of greens and blues um, in our for our colors. We've got two keys, um, DMC codes on both sides of the canvas. Comes with a standard toolkit with a pen, a boat, and a plate of wax. Anything you need for diamond painting if you've never diamond painted before. Um, and these drills, it looks like come pre baggy So if you didn't want to have to kit this up, you wouldn't necessarily have to do any kitting up on this because they're already in bags. And I know a lot of people like working that way out of baggies. And even if you don't like working out of baggies, it's still really nice to have these baggies for your leftover drills wet for when you're through. The only thing that I would suggest when you get built drills that are pre-bagged like this, sometimes they're not completely creased and you can lose some. So don't go crazy with them. I've, I've lost them before by kind of being a little bit too, uh, too vigorous with them and, and, and one of the bags wasn't closed. And so that wasn't very much fun. These look like really nice drills though. They're nice and flat on the back. I'm looking at a darker color. Those seem to be the ones that give us the most problems for some reason. Uh, but they look really good and nice and clean, not, no dust or anything in there. So we've got a nice hunter green and a nice Kelly type green. Then we have this beautiful blue. Hopefully we're going to have an Elizabeth pink in here. Now, Elizabeth, nope, no Elizabeth pink. Now, I say that because one of my subscribers, Elizabeth, has, is upset because Hunter and Kelly both get their own color green, and she wants to know why they're so special. So I named a pink after Elizabeth. So if you'll hear me talk about Elizabeth pink, and I named an Angie purple too. So mint green, we're not going to have any of that in here, though. You guys don't care. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. It's been a day. It's been a day. Some gray some lime green, pale, pale yellow. These are really pretty colors together. More dark green, kind of a seafoam green, cream, very light peach, a very light blue, an army green, a mossy green, a sagey green. I'm running out of colors for greens just a green, a uh, light teal, kind of a turquoise color. Then we've got 13, which is 939 navy blue, and that is, uh, we've got a lot of drills in that bag, so that's probably gonna be most of our background color, so it's gonna be quite dark. Um, not the whole thing, but our background is gonna have a lot of places where we have dark, more greenish, greenish blue and a couple more greens, and then one really, really dark green, and there's quite a bit of that too. So between this blue and this green, isn't that gonna look great? I think that that's gonna be so pretty. I really like this picture a lot. 
this is going to be a nice one, I think. The drill field is really clear and easy to read. Um, no problems there. And yeah, that's the first one that we got from this order from Easy Craft Art. So let me just slide these back into their container so I don't get confused. And we'll move on to the next. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, it's pretty good here. It is cold and getting colder. I think our high tomorrow is 24 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is pretty, pretty chilly. So I'm not looking forward to that, but you know, gotta take the bad with the good, I guess. All right, for our next diamond painting, let's see what we've got. We have another full drill and it's a holiday diamond painting and isn't that adorable so cute it's just a little 30 by 30. Um, it's a round drill kit full round drill let me fold it let me roll it backwards so i can get it to lay flat for us but it's just a cute little kitty with a christmas hat on and this little kitty looks a lot like maddie's kitty um, her name is wheels because she runs around like a crazy girl. Um, and I thought that this would be a cute one for Maddie. Um, it says Merry Christmas down here at the bottom. I'm, we'll see how that turns out. We'll, but I think that even, even if you wanted to just go and put all red, you know, in there, if your words didn't turn out, you could just, you know, fill that in with red and it would look just as, just as nice. But cute kitty wearing a Santa hat, 22 colors, all letters for the uh, legend. Um, easy to read drill feel, definitely. Um, very sticky, so that one's a good, good got a good stick to it. Uh, let's take a look at these drills and see what they've got for these colors. It looks like we're gonna be able to do a lot of multi-placing in the background of this. I like how this background has this little border around it so this is all one color in this border and then when you get inside the border um there's a little bit of confetti in there but wouldn't this be cute you could i don't know where you could put it but it's cute it's cute 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 okay what do we have for colors we have quite a bit of white we got a lot of white going on in that santa hat so we have quite a bit of white got some um I don't know what color that is kind of like a brownish cranberry oh my gosh that's a beautiful color blue I wonder what I always say that I think with this color number 20 3809 I feel like I've called that one out before but it's a beautiful color blue I don't even know quite how to describe it um, but I bet you that's going to be the major part of our background 38 that's s yeah so this frame is all going to be this nice color blue then we've got some brown, some more blue, some light blue, some regular blue, some salmon, light yellow, dark brown, a couple of country blues that are one lighter, one darker. These drills look really nice too. Uh, some brick, some red red. So we're gonna have some true red, what I like to call Christmas red for um, the bottom and then for Santa's hat. Then we have some mossy green, uh, some light gray, medium gray, dark gray, army green, more red, black, and pink. We'll call this Elizabeth pink. So got some Elizabeth pink in there. And those are the 22 colors that are going to make up that little cutie. So that would be just a little fun one to do for the holidays. Uh, let me stick these away and we will get right into the next one. Sorry for the crinkle crinkle. Set that one off to the side. Oh, you can't even see. I've got my camera at a little bit different of an angle. I've got it a little bit closer um, than I normally do. And I think that that might work out a little bit better be able to see these canvases a little bit more close up. Now this is, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. I'm excited about this one. This is gonna be one that is not, you would probably wouldn't guess that I would have picked out, but it just, something about it called to me. Um, 
and I just, I really, really liked it. Isn't that cool? It's just a lady with her face is, I think that's a Gerber daisy. That's what I think it is. Um, but a flower covering her face. And it's kind of monochromatic, you know what I mean? It's not like a lot of different colors, um, but I think it's really pretty. So it's a 30 by 40, uh, 23 colors, all letters for the drill field. The drill field is nice and clear and easy to read. A good balance of multi-placing and um, uh, color blocking. And it's very sticky and um, yeah. Yep, very, very cute, very cute. I like it a lot. So let's take a look at these drills and see, cause I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what the colors are actually gonna look like. Ooh, yes, these are gonna be like just my colors, like browns and oranges and yellows, very pretty. So we've got uh, this caramely brown, this nice light butter yellow, another brown, a peach, a mauve, a brick, a green, a brown, another peach. That's probably either a skin color or a background color. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is a really pretty purple. I'm not sure where that's going to go, but that's really a pretty color. Like a plum, like a dark plum. Um, an orangish brown, dark green, dark brown, mustard yellow, caramely brown, Another peach, a mustard, uh, like a like a brownish mauve, yellow yellow orange, and I'm not sure if this is black or yep black. Quite a bit of black. I think it's going to go over here in this dark area of the shadow. And then we've got some cranberry, some more um, flesh tone, and another shade of mustard. And I think those are just right, all those warm colors are just right up my alley. I really like those colors. I think that's going to be pretty, probably not so interesting or, you know what I mean, you're not, you don't have a big splash of color or anything, but I don't really mind that in my diamond paintings. I, I tend to gravitate towards more diamond paintings that have the um, more subdued color palette. Um, I don't know, everybody's just got their, you know, got their things that they look for and that's fine so that is the third one we've just got a couple more to go and then I will let you guys get back to your busy lives all right let's see what we've got for next I apologize for my struggle I really need to get my scissors back in here um, and of course this one is in two bags so it's gonna take me a little bit of time Okay, this is a special drill uh, partial, and it is a 30 by 30, and if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that I do um, like to, I, I tend to collect diamond paintings that have um, the sun and the moon, and I really like sun and moon diamond paintings. So this is one that I didn't have in my collection, and I thought I had better have it. So I'm just going to roll this up like the opposite way so we can get it to lay down for us while we look at the drills, see if we have anything cool and uh, interesting because I love special drills. I love seeing all the, all the neat different things that can come with special drills. So there are 12 different drill types on this one. It's not a whole lot of drilling, um, but it's enough. Uh, it's enough that it's gonna look cute. All right. We've got some yellow, some gold, pink, clear rhinestones, and then we've got some bubble red, bubble topped red a little bit bigger. Then we've got some faceted iridescent coated gold a little bit bigger rhinestone. Then we have blue, that's a really pretty blue, uh, purple, a very nice purple. Um, a deep red and then a normal red and then an orange and some black. 
So really not anything too exciting as far as different shapes or anything like that. Um, but it's going to be cute. It's going to be one that I will be happy to add to my Sun and Moon collection and happy to work on um, when it comes time. I like to have special drills sitting around um, so I can work on those when I'm feeling like working on just a small project. All right, and last but certainly not least from Easy Craft Art, we have another full drill. And you probably are not going to be surprised, but it's been a while, you guys. I've done really, really well with not ordering a lot of gnomes. I, I, I really have cut back on my gnome purchases of late, and um, but this one I just had to have. Let me peel this cover back so I can try to get it to lay down a little bit better. He is a 30 by 30 full drill, 22 colors. Did I say 30 by 30? I meant 30 by 40. I'm not sure what I said. A really nice canvas, um, nice supple canvas, not too stiff. Just the way I like them. And super cute. Just let it snow with a little gnome with his little green hat. Very, very cute. So there's going to be a lot of multi-placing in this because the background is black and it is just all black. I mean, obviously with the exception of our snowflakes that we've got there. Um, other than that, the rest of it looks pretty confetti filled. 22 colors, standard toolkit. Let's look at the drills. I'm just not, I'm just cutting to the chase today. Look at the drills. Let's go. All right. Um, all letters for our legend. And that's funny. I've never seen drills labeled like this before. That's interesting. It's like they've got like a sticker on there. Um, that's, yeah, I've never quite seen drills labeled like that. Huh. Don't know if it's something new or maybe there was a error. But we've got some deep purple, some Elizabeth pink, dark blue, another two more, three more packs of dark navy blue. Is that dark navy blue or is that black? Nope, that's black. My bad. So these are, this is black. That's all your background. Some medium gray, dark gray, tan, another gray beautiful green it's like a like a dark blue green a sea foam green a very light gray mustard yellow burgundy very dark gray dark green a dark grayish green a kelly green and a blue green and then we've got these little separate ones We've got some yellow and this really cool color blue. I don't know where that's going to go, but it's a really pretty color. What's the DMC on that? 3849. That's a really pretty color. And then some off-white, another green, and another very dark gray. And those are the 22 colors that make up this cute little gnome that says, let it snow. So you could have this out all winter season. It's not just, you know, for Christmas. So this would be a cute one to have out for decoration for the entire winter season. Um, so that's what I've got today from Easy Craft Art. Uh, I will have all the links to these in the description field of the video. If you have any other questions, though, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment, and I will get back with you as soon as I can, um, and I will talk to you all soon. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. All right, I'll talk to you again. Bye, guys.